What's going on, folks? It's Brian. Just want to give you guys a tip of the week. <clears throat> so, a lot of us hunters out here in California hunt deer uh, in the summer months, which means our deer have velvet on them. And uh, I think one thing that people don't realize is that the velvet is super sensitive. And the deer, the bucks, don't like brushing their antlers up against things. So they're going to tend to stay uh, in more open areas than thick wooded areas or brushy spots. So when you're scouting or when you're hunting for deer in the summer months, try and pick more open areas that uh, don't have as dense a brush or low hanging tree limbs and stuff like that. One more thing is these deer are going to be hanging out mostly on the northeast face side of the ridges. Because once the sun is straight up and down, those deer will move over and follow that shade line. As that sun sets, that's going to cast more shade, and then as it casts more shade, those deer just work down that shade line. And uh, we got it set up here right now. We're actually looking at the north face ridge line. This is actually the pier north face that you're looking at now. And what we're going to hunt is just on the other side of that. And as the sun sinks, as you see behind us right now, going down this cut trail, is that the shade is starting to glide over. Once that shade starts to glide over, deer tend to move, start moving. So it's 1.30 in the afternoon. We're gonna sit tight. We're on the edge of a brush line and a clear cut. And then below us is a creek bottom. So we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that they, they migrate down out of that higher stuff and come down on the creek and we're gonna walk this road back down to the river and uh, see if we can spot a deer. So two things, hunt the northeast face and try to stay out of the thick stuff in the summertime. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching this. Please like and subscribe our channel. We appreciate it. Thank you.